Hello Minecrafters! Today I will show you how to build this bamboo starter house with an interior that has everything you need to get started. But before we start, here are all the materials you are going to need. You can now pause here for the layout of this build. One thing to note before we get started is you do not have to build this by water. Just think of this as the flatland that you're building it on. I like building by water because it just makes a build look great. We're going to start this layout by getting a stripped spruce log and putting it here in the corner two blocks up. And then we're going to do this three blocks between each pillar. Just like that. Then we're going to count five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then put another pillar right here. And you can go down into the water if you're doing it along the water or until it reaches the bottom of the ground. Then we're going to put another pillar here on this corner. Just like that. And we're going to repeat the same thing on this side. Then we're going to come right here and put a pillar right here where this right here meets and the same on this side. Just like that. And then we're going to come and put one on each one of these corners. But right here we're just bringing it up to the same level of the water. This is how it should look now when you're done with all those pillars. Now you can remove any of the blocks that you were using for spacing. Now put a barrel on top of each one of these spruce pillars. And put a decorated pot on each one of those smaller ones down there. I'm gonna put a small flower pot on top of each one. And then a flower of your choice. I love the new torch flowers. We need two more pillars in the middle of this build. So come over here to this line right here and count three blocks over and put spruce logs up to the same height and put a barrel on top of that like that. Count three more blocks and do the same thing, the same height and put a barrel right there to look Right like that. Then put a spruce slab on top of the front four barrels like that and two stripped spruce logs on top of each one of the rest of the barrels. Then you can put another barrel on top of each one of the eight pillars here. Now put a stripped spruce log in each corner and then connect them with stripped spruce logs like this. Then on the inside, take spruce slabs on each end and run them along like that. That's how it should look now. Now we're going to connect these eight pillars together using jungle stairs like this. Just going the whole way around the build, connecting it between each barrel. So it looks like that. Then we're going to fill in this entire inside area with jungle slabs like this. And we're going to bring the same thing outside, but on the bottom edge of the block. So it's half a block lower than the other floor. And we're going to bring that the whole way around to make this deck. And then fill it in. And now we have the base of the floor in. Put three bamboo trap doors in between each one of these spaces here, like that leave the middle one empty and then do the same thing on this side. 
now place a bamboo trapdoor there and there like that right in the middle and then we can put three jungle slabs like that and then we're gonna do the same thing underneath here with two more bamboo trap doors and then more jungle slabs like that and then we're just gonna connect them to this part right here so that you have a little dock coming off of those stairs now take bamboo hanging signs and connect each one of these spruce pillars like that and we're gonna do that the whole way around this build just taking these bamboo signs and connecting that for a nice little bit of trim along the bottom skipping the stair section and doing the same thing on this side and there we go that part is complete now take some bamboo fences and connect them to the signs like that two on this side and then we're gonna do one on each one of these with three blocks between. And then the same on this side. And then on the back, just put one block in the middle. Now get your sandstone walls and bamboo fences and we're gonna make the walls like this, putting three on the bottom and then two on each side and then put your fence right down the middle. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Then on the ends, put five along the bottom like that, two like that, two like that, and then two in the middle with bamboo fences there and there. And then do the same thing on the other side. Then on the back, we're just going to repeat what we did on the front on each one of these three. Now our walls and windows are all complete. Now put dark oak signs on each one of these pillars just to give it a little bit of contrast and texture. Then at the door, put a spruce fence gate there and there and open it up and put a lantern in the middle. Then put a bamboo door there, come inside and stack bamboo trap doors up like that. Then your door is going to look like this. Now take a spruce slab and put it in the middle of the window, the middle of the door and the middle of the other window like that. Put a spruce slab on top of that log there, there, and there, and then put a trapdoor on top of each one of those, and a spruce sign like that in the front. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Now we're going to make the slab go one up, just place a slab like that and do the same thing on each one of these sides. Then put a temporary slab and a spruce stair like that on each one of those. Put a spruce trap door there and there, like this. Now put two bamboo planks like that the whole way along there and put an upside down spruce stair on each side like that. Then break the bamboo plank and put a spruce hanging sign on each one of these. Then you end up with a roof that looks like this. Now take bamboo slabs and outline the bottom of the roof like this, the whole way around. And 
And then take bamboo slabs and run them across like this on both sides. Put a bamboo plank there and a upside down bamboo stair there and do the same there, there, and on each one of these blocks. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Then take bamboo planks and fill this all in. And now your roof should look like this. Take spruce slabs and spruce trap doors and run them across the top of the roof like this. Now if you want a little bit of texture, you can come in with the block of bamboo and just put a little bit of color as well as the bamboo mosaic. Just do a little bit of this around the builds and you're just going to get a little bit of pop of color and some nice texturing to make the build feel a little bit better. So you can do something like that or you could just leave it how we had it before. Now we're going to make a little chimney out the back going three walls high and then do that. Put a decorated pot there, a campfire on top, put spruce trap doors around each side and then a stone brick wall on the top like that. The outside is now finished. Now we can work on the interior. First of all, we're going to fix the ceiling by putting some slabs in here like that. Put a spruce plank up top like that and run slabs the whole way across the peak. Put another one like that there and a slab there. And you can put a chain and a lantern for a little bit of light. Now we're going to build a little workstation. Put a crafting table by the window and then put a furnace next to it with a stone cutter on top. You can put an anvil there and then we're going to put a barrel on each side and put five barrels across the top like that. Then you can put two chests on either side like that. Put a grindstone right there and then a lantern for a little bit of light. Next we'll do this corner over here. Put a barrel right here to put some of your belongings in. Put a bed there and a bamboo sign on the foot of the bed. Put a flower pot there and then your preferred flower. I like the new torch flower a lot. Then we'll put some bookshelves right here. You can store some of your books that you might fish on the bookshelf right there. And then we're going to put an ender chest right next to that. Now we're going to make our level 30 enchanting area by putting bookshelves around like that. And then we're going to put three across there, one there, and three across like that. Now that is the amount that you need to get level 30 enchanting. But I like just sticking an extra bookshelf up there or maybe up there just to sort of change things up a little bit. Make it feel not quite so symmetrical. And then I'm going to put a decorated pot there with a flower pot and once again a torch flower to make it look pretty. And that is the enchanting area done. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.